All right, so in animating our character in my scene, I've built them up on my assets file, and I have eight frames here that kind of animate through. And my hero creature is the only one that kind of grows and, and really we get focused on, and the head pops out from under this fur. Okay, now to test it, because these are just my frames, I need to, to use something in Photoshop called Timeline. So I go to Window, and I find Timeline, and I turn that on. And then I'm going to create a frame animation. Click on that. And if you get something else, you'll see a little storyboard icon here. You can click on that. That will be the frame animation. What the Timeline does is it can program these eyeballs next to each layer. So the first thing I do is I go to the timeline options in the upper right hand corner of the timeline window. I click on that and I say make frames from layers. And I have nine layers here. One is the background, it's blank. I'm going to drag that to the trash. I am not deleting, I never hit delete. Because if I hit delete, I lose pixels. Instead, this is just a program for the eyeball. So when you want to delete one of the, the eyeball programs, you drag it to the trash within that window. Um, next, you'll see that there's a time underneath each frame. I'm going to hold down Shift to select all of them. And the default timing I use as I'm testing animations is a little bit faster than three frames per second for GIF animations. So I do 0.3 seconds. And then I play it through forever. Not just once through, not three times through, but continuously looping. Then I can play it, and I can see how those animations look. So you can see my character. His head is revealed. That works okay. It's a little weird, but it works. Okay, next I'm going to zoom in to the character and maybe move the character a little bit, we'll see. But I should do a test like this before I move on to make sure that those assets are taken care of. Okay, so now I can hit stop. Now before I move on to my next frame, this is really important. I need to delete all of the timeline frames. So these are frames, these are layers. The problem is if I bring in a new layer now, with with timeline frames, it will add that layer into all the frames. So it will corrupt all the frames anyway. So I'm going to hold down shift, select them all, drag them to the trash. Now I can go back to my assets. Go ahead and save. Go back to my assets and build up my next frame, which is going to be a character movement and a zoom. So this is a little different. So in order to do this, uh, this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> I am going to, let's see, move the revealed head a little bit. Maybe take down the opacity of the rough of fur behind it. And then actually, let's see, I'll duplicate it instead of just changing it. And I am going to just rotate it a little and grow it like so. Now, the body, I can just grow a tiny bit, like it heaves. Okay, so there's some movement. These guys are gonna get framed out pretty quickly, but I'm just gonna warp them one more time, just really slightly. Just like that. And then the sky, I'm going to keep changing. Just like so. Okay, now, because I'm doing a zoom, it's a little different. So I'm going from this to this, right? Here, it's probably. Make them link up. So that looks good, but I'm also adding a movement and a zoom. So how do I do the movement? 
Well, I'm going to take all the layers that make my creature up and hold down command. I think that's all of them. And then there should be maybe a reflection too. No, not that one. Not that one. Yeah, I think those are the ones I need. So I've held down command. That actually selects all of them. Then I'm just going to move them together. And I'm just going to use the arrow keys and just nudge it a few steps over and down. Okay. Now that's the movement. So you can see there's been a little movement of the character. To do the zoom, I'm first going to hold down option on the top layer that's showing. Let's say layer merge visible. Treat it just like it's a regular layer. Then I'm going to command A. But before I copy it and paste it over, I'm going to hit Command T, hold down Shift and Option, and grow it, and zoom in a little bit, and then maybe move up the camera like that. So that's starting a zoom in between, because this is the in-betweens from here to here. So I'm doing the movement and the zoom at the same time. So now I can select all copy it, paste it over. And a little zoom does a lot, right? Okay, next, hit Command D. Actually, I'm gonna leave that in so I can see the zoom I had, but I'm gonna mark it red because I, I need to remember not to, that that's not my combined layer. Now I turn it off and I do the same things again. I'm gonna move the head a little bit, just using rotate. I'm gonna select all the things, make up my character, hold down command, click on them. And I'm just going to move it now a little bit to the left and up just slightly so I get a little bit more space underneath. Now I'm going to play with the mouse just a tiny bit again because they're still going to be in the shot. Play with the sky. I don't think I played with the sky quite a, enough last time. I might actually warp it again. Okay, I like that. It's going to go from this. Okay, that's a good movement. Now I merge them all. Holding down Option, Layer, Merge Visible. It's going to be Layer 22. But I bring it on top of where I last zoomed, and I need to get it bigger than the last zoom. So I'm going to take it. There's a few ways I can do this. Let's actually move it underneath my old layer. I'm going to move the old layer zoom to about 45% opacity, and then use Command T and zoom it beyond the old. So it needs to be bigger and move in a way that makes sense from the old. This works, maybe a little bit bigger, because GIF animations are not subtle. So if I take this to 100, goes from that to that, that's uh, maybe a little strong. It's a little strong, I can shrink it down a little bit. And you see, I still have all these pixels. But I'm making sure everything is kind of lined up and that the camera movement is as smooth as possible. Yeah, okay, that'll work. Now I can get rid of that one. Command A for the new one, copy, paste it in. 
So I'm shifting, so my character is getting more central as well. That head movement is so subtle, but it, it will make all the difference. All right. I'm trying to think how big I should I make the character before the plants start coming out. And I think now, like, the plant should start coming out. So I'm going to save it at this point. And I'm going to deselect. I'm going to mark this as red. I'm going to turn it off. And now I can select all of this. Everything that's here, even the layers that are turned off, holding down shift. And I'm going to grow it. Command T. Oh, I have a lock layer to unlock the background. Now I'm going to zoom in on all of it to match my camera move. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. Perfect. Maybe just a tiny bit bigger. And you see how my character is now in the center. So all that's very good. So it goes from this to this. So now I can change the head. There we go. And I can play with the sky. And now I have new things to worry about, not the mounds anymore. <coughs> but plants now growing out of my character. And for that, I need to build more assets, right? So I've got kind of my character's head revealed now. I can delete all these. Delete all these. I didn't end up doing the jaw motion, but that's okay. You have to simplify sometimes. I can delete these things I don't need anymore. Keep my assets rational. And now basically all of these are going to stay. And on top of here, I'm going to build in my plant assets. I'm going to save it, and I'm going to bring it over this last frame. So I hold down Option, and I say Layer, Merge Visible, Select All with Command A, Command C to copy, Command V to paste in. And I'm going to just run a quick animation test. So make frames from layers, set it all at 0.3 seconds. And then get rid, just drag the first one to the trash. Oops. Just the first one to the trash. And then play it through. The head comes out, and then my camera moves in. It's choppy, but it gets the job done. Now the camera is going to stay moved in for a while. And now the next thing we're going to pay attention to are the plants growing. So to do that, I need to select all of my frames, drag them to the trash. Remember, don't hit delete. Save it. And now I have to start building new assets. So I'm going to deselect, get rid of that, and now make a new group. I'm going to call this the plant group. And these are all new assets but I can bring some from a previous file, right? So that will be the next video bringing these in. But the first one, I'm going to go back to my assignment two. Actually, I have it in assignment five because it's one of the things I use. It's the creature composite file, and I can bring in those flower layers. 
but I have to bring in more because those are just the 